Former President Donald Trump is in Arizona to solidify his support in a crucial battleground state. Both campaigns have framed their candidates as the winner of Tuesday night's debate in Philadelphia. Trump likened Vice President Kamala Harris as a prizefighter that lost the fight and added, because we've done two debates and because they were successful, there will be no third debate. Separately, Trump is famous for giving nicknames to his political enemies, but nicknames for allies are rare. She's tough on the border. So if you don't mind I'm going to call her border Carrie Lake, Trump said to loud applause in Tucson. Lake, who's in a tough race against Democrat Ruben Gallego, stood and pumped her fist from the front of the auditorium. Trump said Thursday in Arizona that as president he'd seek to end taxes on overtime wages. It's his latest appeal to the working-class voters he's counting on to return him to the White House. Trump has also pledged to end taxes on tips and social security wages. As everyone saw two nights ago, we had a monumental victory over comrade Kamala Harris in the presidential debate. We won big with independent voters, moderates, Republicans, and working people all across this nation, putting forward a clear vision to very simply make America great again. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris showed up spewing empty rhetoric, the same old lies, meaningless platitudes, offering no plans, no policies, and no details whatsoever, nothing. The two anchors, David Muir and Lindsey Davis, sat there and only corrected me on things where I was right, but didn't correct Kamala on Project 25 that I knew nothing about. She talked about knowing it was all false. She talked about the Charlottesville hoax, and these people did nothing about it, which has been totally debunked, as they say, by Snopes and Snoops and everybody else. I like it. Look at all those people. Wow. But she immediately called for a second debate, which means that she was like a price fighter that lost a fight. We had two debates, though. I had a debate with Crooked Joe Biden, right? And I had another debate with her. Anybody in the audience have a gun? Raise your hand. So because we've done two debates and because they were successful, there will be no third debate. But when they had exit polls 2016, and they said, oh, he's getting killed in the exit polls. And I remember NBC and that stupid ABC that did this horrible debate. Those two people should be fired as an anchor. A couple of more years, they'll be fired. And she was nasty. She looked at me with hatred in her eyes. And him, he's a nice guy. I mean, they were told to do it by George Slobodopoulos, who's, who's in the group, right? George Slobodopoulos. But she's tough in the border, so if you don't mind, I'm going to call her Border Carrie Lake. From now on, it's Border Carrie Lake. I'm also announcing that as part of our additional tax cuts, we will end all taxes on overtime. You know what that means? Think of that. The people who work overtime are among the hardest working citizens in our country. And for too long, no one in Washington has been looking out for them. Those are the people. They really work. They're police officers, nurses, factory workers, construction workers, truck drivers, and machine operators. It's time for the working man and woman to finally catch a break, and that's what we're doing, because this is a good one. And I think it's going to be great for the country. A billionaire kicked off the first private spacewalk Thursday, teaming up with SpaceX on the daring endeavor hundreds of miles above Earth. 
Tech entrepreneur Jared Isaacman and his crew waited until their capsule was depressurized before popping open the hatch. Isaacman was to be the first one out, aiming to join a small elite group of spacewalkers who until now had included only professional astronauts from a dozen countries. All four on board donned SpaceX's new spacewalking suits to protect themselves from the harsh vacuum. They launched on Tuesday from Florida, rocketing farther from Earth than anyone since NASA's moonwalkers. The orbit was reduced by half to 458 miles for the spacewalk. Dragon SpaceX vent complete. EV-1 return to seat. And EV-1 copy, transitioning back under the display. So again, one of the reasons we had Jared do that was to... Dragon SpaceX, we're actually copy test matrix three. Top of the mobility aid. And uh, let's get a quick crew off check. EV-1's good. EV-1's good. I'm good. Fuck you, good. Copy that. Okay, uh, max reach, whether it's left or right hand, seems to be about the same. Top of the mobility aid. And then the mid-rumble. Okay, Jared, we're good. 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 We're